Good evening. It's October 15th, 2008. I need a little catchy video intro thing like you've got. Keep thinking something along the lines of uh, one of those uh, ticker tape noises and whatnot they have, used to have on the evening news. Uh, that would be amusing. Anyways, notes. Green diapers. At this time, it's not going to happen. Don't have the time to clean dirty diapers. Don't have the funds for a diaper service. We've looked into it. We'd rather go with green diapers or with uh, cloth diapers. They're time-consuming. And you urine one, you soak it. Uh, you rinse it, or you soak it. No big deal. It's the uh, if it's a solid poo, it's no big deal. But that's only like 50% or less of the time what comes out it ten always tends to be softer oh my goodness anyways uh, now if we could afford for Tanya to stay home or be a stay home mom then we're going to look into it again meanwhile what we're looking at on the early stages of encouraging potty training we sit Emily on the pot when she wakes up in the morning for, or takes a nap uh, she like most of us pees not long after waking a slow road, but we're hoping to have her uh, even looking at it, or, or I, I, my goal is hopefully by age two, diaper free. I'd hope by 18 months, but that all depends on how she goes after it. Um, there's no way she's going to be one of those kids at age four who's sitting there still using diapers. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. Uh, it's funny, you, uh, talking about uh, Gregory Maguire. You're the second person to bring up the musical Wicked this week, and the second person to recommend one of his books to me. Uh, it sounds interesting. Haven't had a chance to read Wicked yet. Uh, Son of a Witch. That sounds funny. I want to have to look into that one, too. Currently, Tanya and I are working on the Twilight series by Stephanie Myers. I don't know if you've heard of this book. We ran across a movie trailer for the movie Twilight. It's coming out soon, and uh, based on a book, and the story's set in Forks, Washington, up in the northwest corner of the Pen Olympic Peninsula, uh, in the rainforest area where they get 200 inches of rain, and people uh, don't count the number of uh, cloudy or wet days. They just count the number of sunny days, and it tends to be... You know, 20 days in a year. Uh, anyways, uh, books are decently written and the characters are fun. Maybe some people will learn about uh, the temperate rainforest that we actually have in the United States for a change. But, uh, interesting storyline. Doesn't follow, it's about a girl that runs across some vampires, but it doesn't follow the same mythology as most other vampires. Uh, they can't go out in daylight because it's a dead giveaway. It's not that it kills them, it's they uh, become iridescent and shiny and stuff. It's like, okay. And uh, some other changes to it, the standard myth lord uh, of a vampire. Um, I agree that the alarm sound was annoying annoying. If I, I was thinking about it, if I had said it as an wake up to wake me up, I probably would have damaged my computer trying to turn the thing off. Uh, Pinewood Derby. Build what you like, or you want. But I would love to see a working Pinewood Derby tank. That would just sounds cool. Um, I don't know how well it would run, but just coming up with a way that the, the turret would stay on and rotate and still be under the weight class that they, they always want. But, anyways. Um, and then for the question, page 7, question 3, I will see you tomorrow.